What's going on, smart people? I am not an astrophysics student. You might have been able to deduce that for yourself if you've seen one to 200 or so of my other videos. But, but why not? Why not astronomy slash astrophysics? Why did I end up going the normal physics path? Well, the answer might surprise you. I like astronomy. I have a telescope in my living room, and when I first started dabbling in general relativity, that's when I first learned that astrophysics is kind of the shit. I would have loved to do GR calculations all day. I don't know how practical a career path that would be, but I mean, I'm going into theoretical nuclear physics, so booming job market was not heavily emphasized on my checklist. So lack of enthusiasm for the subject wasn't the reason. The reason has less to do with what my interests were in physics and more to do with how American graduate schools largely divide up their graduate programs. Now I applied to about 10 or so schools, but I combed through a lot more. And in my experience, almost all of those schools had a separate department for physics and astronomy slash astrophysics. So you sort of had to pick one or the other to apply to. Sure, you could probably apply to both departments and then dish out twice the application fee, but for the record, I ended up paying about $1,000 to apply to 10 or so schools once you factor in the application fee with the cost of sending your test scores, so it's pretty expensive. But on top of that, I didn't want to apply to a graduate program that I had no research experience in. Not that that would necessarily hurt me from an admissions point of view. I don't think it matters all that much what your topic was on. I think the point is to show the graduate at school that you're taking the necessary steps to one see if you like doing research and two demonstrate that you don't suck at it so I don't think the topic is all that important but feel free to correct me in the comments section if I'm wrong I mean obviously the research should still be in physics and if your personal statement says a whole bunch of stuff about condensed matter and wanting to work with this condensed matter professor then sure, you should probably have research experience in that field, but I'm speaking more generally. So I didn't want to apply without research experience, not because I was afraid of getting into a program, but because I didn't know if I liked researching it. So I thought if they lumped the departments together, then I could apply to the whole thing without being too specific about what my specialty could possibly be, and then feel out the different fields while just going through my core classes, and then maybe meeting with professors. But that's not how it worked out. Instead, they keep the departments separate, so I ended up applying to the physics departments, physics grad programs, because while well, my first research internship was in accelerator physics, my second research project was in atomic theory, and my third was in nuclear theory, so I at least knew that I enjoyed doing physics research in different specialties. And if I ended up not liking one or the other, then I could transition from one different field to the other in the beginning stages of grad school. But that would be really hard to do if I ended up not liking astro, being in that program and then trying to transition into say the physics department so I figured it would be easier to move around within one department than move from one department to the other and maybe if things were a little different like had I known that these departments are usually separate I would have tried harder to secure an astrophysics internship to see if I enjoyed that kind of research so I wanted to make this video for those of you who might have been like me and did not know this information. My undergrad university didn't have an astrophysics program inside or outside the physics department, which is why I was so naive. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you found it helpful. Let me know in the comment section if you did, and I'll see you guys there.